BYD deliver six electric buses to Mumbai best for public transport. Goldstone and Freiduck, a joint venture between Hyderabad's Goldstone Group and China's auto manufacturer BYD, announced the delivery of six e-bus K7 electric buses to Mumbai Brihan Mumbai Electric Supply and Transport BEST, service. The Metropolitan is the second city in Maharashtra to use electric buses after Nagpur. The new e-buses will be plying across the city of Mumbai offering emission-free travel to commuters. The electric buses were purchases for 1.61 crore each, which is over two times the price of the conventionally powered buses. The Goldstone electric buses will carry the same fare as the conventional options. While the Maharashtra government already operates hybrid buses from Volvo in Navi Mumbai, the all-electric buses are a first in Mumbai. Goldstone says the e-bus K7 electric buses are RI certified and can cover up to 200 km in a single charge with speeds up to 70 kmph. The buses can carry up to 31 passengers. Best also announced that there will be no hike in the fare for electric buses. The new e-buses will be running on existing routes around Khatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus. CSTM, and Church Gate Station including Route No. 138 from Back Bay Depot to CSMT and the Ford Ferry Route. Goldstone says its electric buses run at a cost of 8 per kilometer, half to that of CNG buses. While their range is limited, the e-buses are being charged using fast charging stations, which is currently set up at Best's Back Bay Depot and can fully charge the vehicle in 3-4 hours. The company also says that the new buses run at a cost of 8 per kilometer, which is almost half when compared to CNG buses that run at a cost of 15 per kilometer. Diesel buses run at a cost of 20 per kilometer. These aren't the first e-buses from Goldstone to ply in India though. The company delivered the e-bus K7 electric buses to the Himachal Pradesh government earlier this year and the same are being used between Manali and Ratang Pass. The six e-buses were purchased at a price of 10 crore by the Maharashtra government, and if the project turns out to be viable, the state government will procure more buses in the future. The new e-buses, extending the same to the suburb areas. For the latest auto news and reviews, follow Car and Bike on Twitter, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.